Welcome back family and friends to another episode of Independent Joe. Uh, today I am going to be reviewing, tasting, letting you know what I think of Frank August. Frank August is a different uh, type of bottle. It's really nice. Got a really nice top on it. This is very solid, solid top, very heavy, um, but it's a nice bottle. Uh, that's what attracted me to it. Um, I saw it at my one of my local uh, liquor stores over there at El Cerrito. I uh, messaged uh, Jazz. Uh, he's uh, the owner over there at, at uh, El Cerrito. And he messaged me back saying that um, it, it it is not a pick of his, but it is a solid uh, 100 proof whiskey. So I tend to uh, listen to his palate and listen to him and his palate because... Uh, I tend to like uh, some of the some of the stuff he puts out. So, as far as some of his picks, uh, but this one right here is um, I think it's new. Um, I've been trying to research it, trying to find uh, different information on Frank August the distillery or Frank August the person, and uh, I cannot find anything. Uh, so, for any of you out there who know who Frank August is, or if you're Frank August yourself, uh, maybe you can uh, put in the chat uh, what uh, you're all about, your distillery. If not, get a hold of me at independentjoe1 at gmail.com, and uh, maybe we can uh, talk about your, uh, your line that's coming up, because this right here is a small batch, again, at 100 proof. 100 proof, it is distilled and aged in Kentucky. I believe it's a four-year-old whiskey. Uh, bourbon whiskey uh, bottled by Frank August, whoever that is, and in Bargetown, Kentucky. So it says it's an America, America spirit, be Frank. Who's Frank? Okay, so anyways, uh, well, like I said, small batch. Uh, they do have another one coming out, I guess, pretty soon. It's going to be their cast strength version at, I believe, 114.8. I looked over at my board. It is 114.8. Uh, same uh, distilled in Kentucky and uh, America Spirit, be Frank, uh, whoever Frank is. But uh, like I said, if you know, uh, put in the chat, let everybody know. Uh, I can't find it. Uh, the color is really nice. It's like a uh, golden copper. Uh, really nice in the bottle really great presentation not too much not too much decorations or anything just Frank August on the bottom and a gold leaf <sighs> really really sweet in tone and flavor very little I mean it is a in alcohol very little in alcohol presence which uh, it is at a hundred proof so it's gonna be on that lighter side uh, but it a lot of flavor is coming through a very nice, rich uh, caramel uh, aroma coming through. Just really sweet overall. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, it does, for a 100 proofer, it does coat the glass pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, pretty nice. So I'm excited to taste it, and why not just taste it, right? So, cheers everybody. Appreciate you. Mm. Very deceptive as far as uh, spice goes. Has a nice peppery spice to it. Coats really well. Oh man, you, you could actually... Yeah, this is very uh, one of those dangerous bottles that um, where... You get a lot of sweetness. It, it tastes almost, um, it, it tastes almost like, like you could just finish this whole bottle in one sitting. Um, I won't do that uh, because uh, I just won't, uh, because I want to be able to share this. Um, I do get corn, uh, that corn uh, like uh, flavor coming through uh, showing that it is uh, kind of on the young side but overall I think with the sweetness the flavor uh, kind of like that Nulu uh, that I that I tasted uh, before the honey where the flavors are, are so pronounced on on the tongue uh, but once it gets to the back it's very limited as far as what it gives you um, 
but it's it, it's crushable though it's really nice really easy drink um but it, it it keeps you wanting more and again if you keep wanting more this bottle's gonna go away and i don't know how limited this release is it is a small batch uh small batch meaning it's like 10 to 15 barrels all batched together uh anywhere from 10 to 15 barrels all batched together i did find that that much um to make up this bottle so they should have a pretty good uh release of this uh, i know at at my store that they um had a, a a case of this maybe more uh if you go to el cerritos dot uh, com liquor dot com uh you might be able to order it and I'm, I'm not sure how far but they'll let you know uh as far as what states they can uh deliver to but it's really nice um a, a little bit left to be desired on the on the, on the back end but you you do have a light sense of oak flavor there and it's 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 more of a sweet corn oak uh flavor that's left behind yeah but but once you taste it you get that pepperiness that, that little bit of flavor a lot of flavor coming through it coats the mouth very well it doesn't dry and at 100 proof um i haven't tasted too many 100 proofers that will really dry your your palate but this is done pretty well when i'm talking a little bit of it does create a little bit of saliva which keeps that flavor going for a little bit but once it starts to settle then then you start to get a, a little bit of that corn sweet corn with the um with that um light very light oak uh, flavor on the back end so but it's not bad it's like when i'm sitting here and i'm talking and stuff like that the, the flavors kind of kind of kind of resurface a little bit not too much but just a little bit just enough to know that hey i'm i'm, I'm drinking some uh, bourbon whiskey right now um yeah uh it's a recommend for me uh i like it i, I can appreciate it um now the price point uh of course is around depending on where you find it because it could be anywhere from 60 65 to 70 dollars 69.99 and that's actually what i got it at uh, but um hmm, i don't know if i'd buy another uh, because i do think there are comparable ones at this proof point that i could probably kind of get away with drinking and probably have the same type of finishes and tape same type of flavors coming through um but it's good though it's good uh i'm glad i have it in my collection and if you like different things sitting on your on your shelves uh this is probably a pickup for me um and uh, i'll have to see as it evolves um i heard somewhere that you're not supposed to open up something and then taste it right away because you don't get the true uh, flavors from it i agree with that uh at the same time uh a lot of these reviews that i'm doing it's it's mostly a kind of a first taste for me and uh, i like when i can open a bottle and i'm just like immediately uh, intrigued by it and this is one where i think that i'm intrigued by it i think that yes as it evolves uh, it will get better um, same thing with some of the other ones that i opened up in the past couple days um, i think um, that's the great thing about uh, a lot of these whiskeys is that they evolve um, the air and everything that, that, that mixed into it uh, helps it do that. And um, I can't wait to see what this one evolves to. So, again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And then if you uh, hit that notification button, it will let you know when some of these videos are posted. It will let you know when I go live. Of course, uh, I might not be going live this week, as I said in uh, one of the previous uh, videos. But, um, hey, I will be definitely going live the following week, and then we can uh, discuss more on that live if, if maybe I went back to it and you can ask me questions then on this bottle, or you can educate me on who the heck Frank August is, because um, I don't know. But whisk his whiskey is not bad, and um, I, I might have to check out that 114... Uh, what is it? 114.8 proof their cast strength and see what that type of flavors and how long that one lasts 
maybe I might check that one out. We'll, we'll, we'll see when it comes out. Uh, if it's as pretty as this bottle, uh, I, I think it's just nice. It's a nice piece to sit on uh, somewhere. And it just, I think this is a real eye catcher for me. And, um, you know, somebody might be uh, interested and might want to taste it just because, and hey, that's how it got me. So, but again, appreciate you all. Thank you for tuning in. Um, have a great morning, afternoon, and good night whenever you're watching this video. Thank you. Uh, love you all. Thank you for supporting the channel. Have a great day.